Three, two, one, go. Did we just drive past old Bill? Yep. Oh my god! Mr. Postman! Alright, no more singing today. I'm sure you've all had enough of my vocals. Um, so yeah, good afternoon. Welcome to another very exciting Vauxhall Calibra uh, Max Power-esque episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed the last episode. I'm off to the post office. I've got loads of my monkey goodness going out today. Don't forget, if you want to check out my Merc, you can do on my website down here. I've got loads of really cool high quality stuff. I've got loads of clothing coming out as well. And it's all hand packed by me and the missus and occasionally my mum as well. So, um, so yeah, make sure to check it out when you get five. I'm just quickly going to post to the post office and we're going to, no, post to the post office. I'm going to quickly pop to the post office and I'm going to head up the farm and we're going to crack on with the Calibra and maybe do a cheeky north to 60. So yeah, see you guys very shortly. Wicked, wicked, jungle is massive. Wicked, original. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Scousey! You're, you're ready for round two? Well excited. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> you liar. Right. In the meantime, we're going to check out Sean's new tampon van. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how many tampons you could get in this thing. I mean, look. But that is a lot of tampons. That is a lot man. of tampons. Yeah. There's been millions of tampons. Use tampons on you. Right, let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> right, Cut. talking of tampons, the Calibra. There we go. I will just point out one thing. Scouse was basically moving the car yesterday and he did clip the bumper. I have told him off. He has promised he's going to cover the repair cost. Green machine! Died again. Things it run for a little yesterday. I'm surprised. We need a new battery. Maybe. That's on the agenda. Things that battery doesn't look old, so no. I don't know. Maybe it just needs a good charge. What are the tyres like? Tires Ty are actually. They got tread. Yeah, that's got tread. That one's not too bad. That one's alright as well, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Handbrake definitely needs some adjustment. It feels like it's nothing there now. What have you done? Yeah, I might have killed the brakes yesterday, man. Is the handbrake not working anymore? Yesterday, I will admit the handbrake wasn't, but the handbrake was so good it got stuck. Something probably broke. <laughs> Before we go and just replace the battery, we're going to give it a bit of a slow charge. So dead, it's not picking up any life. Let me go and get the jump pack. Sometimes when a battery's so dead, um, you put a charger on it, it it's got no life, so the charger doesn't know to charge it. So you basically just put uh, something has got 12 volts, like a jump pack or something on it and it will actually make it, it will start registering uh, as a battery because um, it was literally completely dead. So yeah, we'll see if it works. It, it, we'll see if it takes some charge and it doesn't, we'll have to get a new one. Sweet. Next on the agenda, we're just going to jack the front of the car up and we're going to whip this beautiful Wolf Race wheel off and just check the tyre for a puncture because it had a pretty gnarly flat yesterday. There's some lovely wiring going in from the engine, from the battery, through the engine bay, past the steering column here, <laughs> oh my god! And then it goes down underneath the car. That's got to be for the neons then. Yeah. Surely. Uh, we think we traced the neon wires. <laughs> Interesting installation path, I'm not going to lie, but... Oh yeah, it is the neon. Uh, sure, we can, <laughs> sure we can amend that over time. But a smoke then. <laughs> the smoke? <laughs> no, I don't know. Don't just say there was smoke. Is, it, is that It's had some, yeah, someone's like put tape around it or something. It's literally right next to steering rack, like it's probably, yeah. probably not the best place for it. <laughs> Mr. Mikey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> has discovered that we've got a little bit of a puncture going on with the aid of this fairy liquid. So unfortunately it's on the sidewall, so it's not repairable. So we are going to need to get a brand new tire. Doesn't even go anywhere, like. And we also found out that the, that the alarm siren's been disconnected because this Clifford has probably been very irritating at some point, um, and they just cut the wires to shut it up. 
I tried that once though, and then I found out it's actually got a battery inside the uh, siren. And it keeps going. So it keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to, to let the, that die. You've got to take the whole thing out, yeah. But they're pretty, pretty loud when they do go off. What are you drawing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like squinted. <laughs> Sounds like a Japanese monster. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's to go with the Voxel. To be fair, this engine might not be in here forever because I've got a sneaky suspicion it might blow up. I mean, we that wouldn't have anything to do with your right foot. Possibly, we might be on thinking more NOS. I mean, we can fit that. Well, that depends because the audience is deciding. So, yeah, don't forget, tell us in the comment section below what shall we do to this car? Yeah, nos, nos, nos. <laughs> a quick little oil check, just to make sure there's some oil in it. We need lubrication for our 0 to 60 run. Any guesstimations, uh, chaps, on the 0 to 60 time? Are we measuring hours or weeks or uh, days or what? <laughs> I was going to go with, yeah, days. Nine. Uh, nine days? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play on that Nine. One. Yeah, 9.4. 9.4, yeah, that yeah. sounds like a sensible guess. You, Lozzy Bear? Will it reach 60? <laughs> 7.8 seconds. 7.8. Oh, optimistic. Ooh. I like it. Loving Lozzie's positivity. Well, and what are you saying, Scouts? Nine seconds flat. Nine seconds. Okay. So we've got Slide here's where Lozzie's going to sneak in. Bit of Octane booster. Pull the filter off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Quick check on the old power steering fluid. Yeah, it's got fluid. On the maximum. Sweet. On Great the job. money. Because John needs all the loop he can get, especially in the uh, steering department. <laughs> We have oil, that's a good start. Coolant, sir? We have, there's coolant in there. We've got it, coolant, It yeah. looks a bit watery and I wouldn't say as much coolant left in there, probably some rust. Check the oil caps, see if there's any condensation or any mayo. Any mayo. mayo. Emulsification Ooh, would be the correct terminology. No. no, we are good, she's fresh. Can we see any of the inside? I'd say it looks like some cam lobe where <laughs> if you look here, look. That's definitely had. We need it looks to get like a light in there, man. Yeah, how many got oh yeah, God, that's a bit scored, isn't it? That was probably the nine grand launch from Cold yesterday, to be honest. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like some idiot was bouncing off a limiter for at least 15 seconds on a cold engine. <laughs> what was it me? <laughs> yeah, the same idiot Someone that damaged the bumper, the twat. Yeah, yeah okay, definitely, definitely the same guy. Savron? Yeah. To the bumper? Yeah. Do you need soothing? And a, I've, wait, I've got a plaster. What about brake fluid, sir? Savron and plaster. It has fluids. It has fluid. Looks all right. Right, so that it will stop, it will go, it will steer. It will do a it will do a 0 to 60 acceleration test. Yeah. So should we we drop the tire pressures down? I probably would run it. Yeah, I would go. No, we'll go for normal pressures because they, they might be a little bit higher at the moment. Yeah, I'd, I was going to say maybe 25 psi in the front. Get some grips. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to go 25 psi. Remind us for the next test to go 25 psi so we can keep the conditions consistent. Are you going to run? with the spoiler off like a drag car. I'm going to say... I'd say it'd be safe to do so. Not many drag cars. Yeah, I think spoiler off, man. Min let's minimise the downforce. You need to downforce. be le like less slippery, don't you? Yeah, more, less... More, oh, no, less, more slippery. Better drag car efficiency, is that the correct term? Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. Look at that, mate. Engineering explained. <laughs> I'm a drifter, so I'm an expert at repairs. Oh, yeah. I'm just, oh, just completing this bumper man. repair. That's better. There you go, poor little that. thing. Oh. Should be all better. Green Machine says, thank you. I'm just going to start the old beast up and get her warmed up for the 0-60 run. Right, shut the old key in. And we've got to deactivate the Clifford immobiliser, like so. Beep, boop. Right, make sure she's not in gear. Can't even tell because the gearbox is so sloppy. Right, start her up. Let's see if she starts. Yeah! Woo! Have we got have we got a stopwatch on our phone? Yeah, she's on our phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This isn't gonna be a particularly scientific experiment because we're gonna be using a stopwatch on a phone. Um, but we'll do our best to get it as accurate as possible. My main man, Mr. Eddie, has just done an amazing spot. We've also got green LED eyes inside the door handle. Ah oh, look at that man. This guy has literally gone to town, fair play. Let's just make sure it's consistent in the other side. Wait, this, has got a, this hasn't got a green handle. And it hasn't got any LEDs. Right, that's something that's got to be addressed. The time has come. It's probably a bit of an unfair experiment because we're going to be three up, but three up for Vance. I'll tell you what Where we are we got, going to? I'll tell you what we've got to do first. We're going yeah. to the local quarter mile, aren't we? John's track. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, no. 
the first thing we've got to do, Scouts, is remove the spoiler. Because otherwise it's going to remove itself. <laughs> That's a good point, driving down the road. So yeah, take that spoiler off, man. Quick so release. Yeah, quick release. <laughs> Got it. Race spec, mate. <laughs> Right, let's do so. That's that's the downforce removed for maximum aerodynamics. Right, Mikey's in the back. Sorted. Right, I'll get in the passenger side. We're gonna do a couple of tests first. We're gonna let Scousey, or we're gonna let John Scousey, do a 0 to 60 run. We've got to put our seatbelts on because this is gonna be a high velocity run. Okay, so first sign we notice it's got all the warning lights on. Yes, it does have a few lights on the dash. So there's, there's two different ones for lights and one one for brake pads. For brakes, <laughs> which is worrying. <laughs> we need brakes today. No, I mean, we should the be alright. Are, are they? Yeah. yeah. They, to be fair, they were alright until we did those runs yesterday. And the handbrake. Oh, it does work. Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Fair enough. Two handy bees. Oh, heated seats. Wow. Put a bit of that on. As you know, that will that will suck the north sixty. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god, these lights! <laughs> what are they doing? Are they flashing people? Yeah, literally, you're gonna have to hold it like that. They break your ships. Um, <laughs> Is that what's the mileage on this, Scouts? Uh, we got fifty-eight thousand, nearly fifty-nine. Jesus, that's actually ultimately very low mileage. This. Yeah, massively. Yeah. Be Considering it's a nineteen ninety-seven, it might actually respond okay to a bit of NOS. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we're not definitely doing NOS because it's up to you guys what you put in the comment section, but put NOS. Yeah, NOS. <laughs> we NOS. really want NOS, man. And Scouts and I were saying earlier, we've never actually driven a car with NOS. I'm actually putting NOS to uh, NS14 on Friday. Oh, did you? Next week. Have you tried it? Oh, you haven't no, tried it yet? No. Nah. I'm a NOS virgin. Um, I'm so a virgin, I, just generally. I'd really like to try NOS. I think it's dangerous for John because anywhere he's got a button for more he's performance, to he's going to be pressing it. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. We're going to do the first 0 to 60 test. We're on a 60 mile an hour road, obviously. Ready? Oh, Three. we need stopwatch. Three. Oh, no, shoot, we haven't got stopwatch. We're very badly organised. Quick, Mikey, get a stopwatch. Have we stopped to do a 0 right. to 60? We haven't Three, got a stopwatch. Two, one, go! <laughs> Mate, it's so slow. Down. 60! 10.47. Oh! What was it, Mikey? 10.4. God, 10.4. It was slow. It was Although there was slow. a bit of wheel spin, you know, I had some traction issues. Yeah, and, and your first ever time driving. First the car. ever time driving something that's powerful. Yeah. So you know. So, so that was the first result. 10.4. We'll do a little spin round and we'll and we'll get uh, John Scouse to do to do one more. Brakes are terrible. Like right, still braking test. Handbrake test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 60s and naught in 12 seconds. It's actually slower in 60s and naught than it is naught to 60. Yep, get back on the quarter mile start line over yep. here. <laughs> Next to the cows. Yep. <laughs> right, ready Mikey? Three, two, one, go! That's a good start, that's a good start. Oh, that's a death change! <laughs> 60! 9.8! Oh, yes! Yeah, All about the good. gear change. That was a good time, man. Yeah, well done to John Scouse. We'll stop in a second and we'll let other John have a quick go. <laughs> the handbrake didn't work, man. No, it didn't really work. <laughs> and we've also got to say one thing as well, is that we've got three people. So you've got to say, with one person, it might be sort of it been nine and early half, nine. Four. Yeah, man, I'm thinking so. Right, you ready, Mikey? Yeah, you count now. Yeah, I'll do the count then, yeah, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, he's fucked in. Six, eight! Ten. Oh! Did we just drive past old Bill? Yep. Oh my god! We just drove past the traffic! He was probably like, hold on. That can't be that real. That from the 90s, <laughs> I'm going to have to turn around and pull them. <laughs> Quite exciting doing the old 0-60 runs. It is. Wait till we get on the other drag strip. Yeah, proper, Obviously, proper this is the local one. <laughs> the surface isn't quite as good. But when we get down to Santa Pod, yeah. the strip good. is now free. On. Yeah, we're getting on the Marshalls, sign us and on. Right, you ready, you ready? with the old stopwatch, yeah. Marshall? Three, two, one, go. Six. 
Six, eight. Oh, nine. No, I think oh. you cheated. Oh. Cheated. Might have called that a bit early. <laughs> I think there might have been a bit of earliness there. We have to go back to the action replay. Yeah, man, action replay. <laughs> Let's do, we'll do, we'll do one more. Right, you ready? Right. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> 16! 8.9! Oh! Who said nine seconds? Was, uh... I think that was uh, Mitto, wasn't it? Whoa! <laughs> but to be fair, it's, what time did it say on the, on the spec sheet? 8.6 was slightly off. So yeah, could be down to extra weight, a little bit mm, extra weight, in the yeah, back and a bit more mileage. Obviously, Don John killed it a bit yesterday. Yeah, that's probably sapped at least five horsepower. Yeah. So that is the official time. The first time the green machine has done 8.9 seconds. So that is the time to beat. Um, I think it's a good target. It's not bad. No, I think being naturally aspirated though, there's probably not a huge amount we can do unless we add some sort of forced induction. Yeah. Uh, or Nos. Or Nos. <laughs> nos. Nos, 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 Nos. You guys have heard it here first. She does a 9 second 0 to 60 or 8.9. We want to know what do you guys think she'll do the quarter mile at. We're probably going to go and run the car in stock form. At just Santa so we, Pod. Yeah, at Santa Pod, just so we can get a base time of what it runs as it is. An official one, not a, not a, not not a, a monkey on his fucking mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey stopwatch. Let us know below what time you think she'll do the quarter mile, and it's got to be with three Within decimal three points. three decimal points, yeah. So like 15 points, one, one zero. One, one, two, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comment section. The closest person to get it will win a mystery prize. We hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little episode number two of the uh, the Calibra series. I've got to say, the Calibra series is smashing out. I'm excited, This man. is two in two days. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of energy. We're gonna go for this one. I'm excited, man. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye from me. Bye from Mr. Bye from Scousey. Me. Just leaving me holding. <laughs> <laughs> and then bye from Mr. Mikey. Bye. All right.